Hey everybody. I got back from San Francisco last night. I had uh, quite a bit of mail waiting for me. So some of this stuff is giveaway wins. Some of this stuff is random things I ordered from eBay. Some of the stuff is stuff I purchased from a local coin shop in the Bay Area. So I figured I'd uh, open it up for you guys. Let's see what we got here. This one is from Liberty Coin. I already know what this is. It's a super light box. It's gold. So let's start with that. So my trip was uh, kind of boring. It was a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. And it rained almost every single day. But... I guess being in Northern California, it's expected to rain a lot. So uh, I saw some of the sites. I'm not gonna lie, the bridge a little overrated. There were hundreds of people lining the bridge just to walk across it. I decided not to walk across it, so I drove over it a few times, but this right here is an older gold sovereign. This is from 1899. I got this with eBay bucks, and they were having a uh, flash sale, so I got it for $317.99. Unfortunately, I only got 8% eBay bucks for it, or 8% eBay bucks back, I should say. So, I got it for just under spot at the time. So, I also got $15 face value in Washington Quarters, Mercury Dimes, and some Roosevelt Dimes from a local coin shop in the Bay Area. Uh, I managed to snag these without having to pay the ridiculous California sales tax. They have, it's like almost 9%. That's ridiculous. But cash is king, and they appreciate it, and I appreciate them doing me a solid and not charging me, because I actually got those for, it's like 11.2 times face value. So if I would have paid the sales tax, it would have been upwards of like 13 something like that ridiculous either way so this next one I'm going to open for you it was actually this guy just opened a coin shop up in Ohio and I was supporting him he opened his coin shop about nine months ago this was an Instagram win or not really win I purchased it from Instagram but this guy gave me a really good deal on some Canadian 80% silver. And of course, it's going to defeat me and still defeat me some more. This is why you guys love unboxing videos because you really like watching people struggle, don't you? Eventually, I will win. It is not working in my favor. Well, I suppose I can't complain about shoddy packaging. I'll just put it outside. Okay, so this is ten dollars face value of eighty percent. Canadian quarters, and he shipped this to me for like 90 bucks. Meltdown at the time was like 98, so pretty excited about that. Some of these look pretty old. King George, 1917. Oh yeah, some of them are in decent shape. So. Pretty excited about that. I'll add that to my treasure chest. 
All right, now this one is an eBay win. I don't know if there's going to be an invoice or something. I doubt it because the listing looked very, uh, I don't know, let's just say, like he wasn't very familiar with things. To show you're always kept in mind as greeting comes along with many hopes and wishes that you'll be soon and be well and strong to get well soon. I, I think he just repurposed this, but this, this is glorious. Thanks, dude. All right, so this is nothing special. It's just, it was listed as a sealed 1962 proof set, but from the pictures, it just, it looks disgusting. It looks like somebody drooled all over it or it was underneath a crib or underneath a dog mat or something. There's like dog hair stuck all over it. So I'm going to open this because I'm really hoping that it has some really awesomely toned coins. So I'm just going to pull this out the center because it smells like whoever had this smoked a lot. It just stinks. So, ah, bummer. I was kind of hoping that the cellophane would be torn and it would have been exposed to all sorts of good stuff that will make these coins tone. But it's not. Oh well. That was a $20 right there with shipping. So, not terribly upset. Alright, this right here is another eBay win. This one is kind of weird. I don't normally do this, but I saw a listing and it was a really bad picture. And it looked like it was just one proof nickel. But after reading it, apparently it was a roll of proof nickels. And they were allegedly still in the cellophane. So if they're still in the cellophane, then that'd be cool. The description really wasn't very descriptive. It just said 1960s proof nickels. And there they are. 1964, 60, 62, 64, 63, 59, 62. Alright, yeah. There's a nice toned one. 1962. Oh, check that one out. I got a penny included. 63. Oh, yeah, nothing spectacular. I'll go through here. There's another toned one. I'll go through here and see if anything is worth it. I got all these things for like 15 bucks shipped, so I can't complain about that. And these last two giveaway wins. So I got one from Bella's Coin Hunt and the other one from SHTF. So let's open those. They're just stickers. I won them. The SHTF I won for participating in his 100 subscriber giveaway. And Bella's Coin Hunt, I actually won, I think it was a trivia. I designed this envelope. It's super cool. But he had his 100 subscriber giveaway. And he told you to get an extra entry for um, envelope art. So I didn't know which envelope he wanted me to design or uh, create my art on. So I did it on both. Let's see. Main squeeze. Thanks for the continued support. Here is your consolation prize. Ah. Oh. I didn't win the uh, 100 subscriber giveaway. It's really helping with that peace dollar, but sticker's awesome too. 
Let's see. As you see, February 26th. It's been a while. I won this like the day I left. Thank you for supporting me, Bella. And there she is. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me open up all my purchases for the month. So I probably should have calculated this all up. So we got. I don't even know. Maybe. 18 ounces of silver and quarter ounce of gold. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll put it in the description. All right. Have a nice night. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.